Hello everyone, me again, Estrin Tide, ready to tell you about something very cool that I made. I know that some of you have been wondering about when I was going to finally get a fitness tracking device. Worry no more, I made my own. This is what I decided to do with my time um, because I didn't want a fitness tracker that was doing whatever corporatized stuff that I don't like that other fitness trackers do. And so um, my own just has the accelerometer and the pulse meter that kind of just plugs into my skin right here um, built into it. It's also got galvanic response so I can tell how much I'm sweating um, and all kinds of other cool features. Um, I've got these, uh, what's the best way to show you this? I've got these buttons on here where I can, you know, um, tell it to start taking the data or stop or when I want it to upload to the cloud, I push this one right here um, and voila! I think it looks pretty good. Um, I wasn't able to afford a live poly battery so I've got this pack right here but hey it lasts longer than a live poly so I think that it's fine, the cord doesn't really bother me, <laughs> it's not like um, you know, it's not like it's going to be a problem at all, so <laughs> this is what I did. So I'm going to give you um, a tutorial today on how you can make one of these yourself. It's super easy, it's pretty affordable, it's certainly cheaper than buying a Fitbit, and you don't have to worry about a company collecting your data or telling you how you should be collecting your data. It doesn't have any of that bullshit wrapped up in it, it's just awesome. Um, yeah, what else can I say about it? So, um, so yeah, the first thing that you want to do is go find yourself the right computer components. You can purchase them online. Um, my favorite store is adafruit.com because they've got them pretty well made within the U.S. And, um, okay, so you want to get your accelerometer, your velocirometer, you want to get this uh, galvanic skin response unit, and you want to get this, um, this, uh, what is it called, this other thing, <laughs> and you want to get a lot of cables because you're going to need cables, um, a couple of buttons. If you want something else to do that, you're going to want to get um, a Wi-Fi unit so it can go to the cloud. Um, you're also going to want a, a, a power supply. Okay, so once you've got all the code set up, which is the hard part, I guess, or it's the easy part, depending on which side of the spectrum you fall on, then um, you can assemble your device. So put all the pieces in, wire it up, however you need to do, um, and then like mine, I just wrapped it all in duct tape, and it makes this really nice wristband that I can get into easily if I want to add some new sensors in or if anything breaks and I need to put in new sensors um, and that's that's the gist of it so now um, now I'm keeping really good control of um, everything that's going on and I also am going to start adding in a new vibration capacity to this so that I don't have to use my sound timer to tell me when to sleep and wake up. I can just use the nice vibration uh, to tell me when I should be doing those things because I think it'll be a little less awkward when there's constantly just this chiming happening when I'm in like a quiet coffee shop or in the library at work. It's pretty noticeable but I think it's fine. I just think some of my coworkers were complaining about the sound, so it'll probably be good just to have it um, programmed and ready. Um, and so I'm gonna just upload code stuff so you can go online and find it. And if you wanna make your own, go for it. And also I really suggest thinking about what you wanna quantify and why so that you can put it in your fitness tracker to make it your own thing. Like the amazing ability to measure your body's hormone levels with what the planets are doing because I'm not gonna bother to read horoscope that's written by someone else. 
and I think this weird interpretation of some other person telling you what's going on with you in relationship to the planets just seems really silly. So now I can look at the raw data of where is Mercury, what are my hormones doing, and then I can interpret from there. So that's a software project that I'm starting and I'll let you know when I've got that up and running because maybe you're interested in doing it for yourself. And also I'm not really sure what I'm going to find or what it's going to tell me, but I bet it's going to be big and I have a feeling it's going to influence things that are even bigger than my sleep schedule. Um, but I'll rant about that on another episode because I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. Uh, so that's it for now and uh, just get out there and make your own one of these things. <laughs>